Thank God it's a joy tonight to meet with our brother, Robert Leardon, who did an extensive work by the grace of God on many generals. But you see, generals began as laborers. You see, many are looking for rank when they have not made their marks. You don't seek for rank. You make your mark and your mark will give you your rank. Most generals we talk about today were laborers. They were given to labor. Think about great men like Ora Robert, whom I understand when he goes out for crusade, they can only tell the day it will start. They can't tell the day it will close. And in their time, they must lay hands on people. Because that's the only way to be sure you receive your healing. They will lay, if you are 2,000, they will lay hand on each person. And at morning session, afternoon session, evening session. It's not like today where a pastor will do one service on Sunday and take break on Monday. Not in his house. They go to an hotel. <coughs> Yeah, Sunday was very heavy. The anointing was, <coughs> anointing was very I'm, I'm, I need to refresh myself. I don't want to die. And how old is he? 35 years old. 40 years old. At the prime age of this man, at their prime age, they will be jumping from one place to the other. No break at all. You are asking why is there no revival like their time? Query yourself. Query yourself. You have the answer. Query yourself. Do you pray the way they pray? Are you disciplined the way they are disciplined? Aren't you chatting and chatting and chatting and wasting your time here and there in the name of ministers' association? They know you everywhere to be attending all meetings. But no privacy with God. No diligence at your work. Revival time is work time. Revival didn't jump on them. They worked out the revival. They worked it out. The way you eat and drink and move around every place on telephone. Che, 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 che. I understand in those days when Kenneth Copeland is driving or a robot, you dare not talk to him. You dare not talk to him. Except he asks you to come. Don't move close. Why? Working it out. In the spirit. Working it out. You are a pastor. Saturday you are watching football. And you are expecting something to happen on Sunday. You are not working. You are not working. And you want things to work. Nothing works without somebody working it. Somebody says, oh, I wish, I wish in our ministry we can have, you know, an auditorium that's as big as this. They don't wish auditorium in ministry. It's when the need arises that the auditorium will be commanded by God. If there are no multitudes gathered under this ministry by the help of God, there will not be need for this auditorium. And you saw how miraculously God built it with speed? Because God has seen the congregation that has been labored for by the help of the Holy Spirit. Don't wish a rank. Make your mark and you will get your rank. Now I'm emphasizing this because you see many, many have lost out in revival because of laziness. Laziness. Lazy to study. Lazy to, lazy to pray. Lazy to fast. I see a lot of young people today 30, 40, they've stopped fasting. Why? I have somebody said, you see, I read the book of Rarobot. He said, Minister should rest. And I asked him, did you find out what year he wrote that book? <laughs> he wrote it when he was about 80 years old. How old are you now? They tell you take it easy as a young man. Don't listen to them. They didn't take it easy when they were young. 
Young man, if you are here, don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. If you are called to be an evangelist, Monday to Saturday, be in the field. Don't take it easy. Don't take it easy. Work does not kill young people. If it kills, it will have killed us. Taking breakfast before you go for Sunday service is an aberration. If you reach that age, it's allowed. Amen. Do you think somebody will tell me to take breakfast before I go to church at age 50? Or at age 55? You can't do that. I will cast you out. I'm on business for God. I'm looking for something you are not looking for. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. We have played enough. Fire doesn't come on lazy people. Fire comes only on people who are on duty. Let's get back to work. Now you see, Pastor Paul, if we fail to tell the new generation about this, we have failed God completely. Don't wish where we are. Someone said, you see, I wish I can be flying like Bishop Wedeko is flying. Find out where he was in 85, 86, 87. Driving in public transport from Ilone to Kaduna. 83, 84. Coughing and coughing almost dead. Because all through the year 20, I mean 1985, he was in fasting. Virtually every day of the year fasting. When it was 1st of January 1986. <coughs> there is no general without a mark. He may be hiding it under his dress. But for you to become a star without having a scar. You are deceiving yourself. Any gospel that tells you that you don't have to work. To make it a ministry. Is a dead gospel. Let's get back to how our fathers did it so we can see their kind of result.